Continuing coverage of breaking news out of Madison, where Governor Scott Walker says he plans to take action quickly on the state budget. The Senate approved the two-year spending plan last night along party lines. The Assembly approved it early yesterday morning after 13 hours of debate. The measure cuts funding for public education by $800 million. The budget turns the $3 billion budget shortfall into a $306 million surplus. Democrats say the budget targets education and programs for the poor, but Republicans say it gets the state's finances back on track. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has balanced coverage. After nine hours of debate and disruption, the state Senate has approved Governor Walker's $66 billion state budget. Well, I think it's a disastrous budget for our state. It is, to, it is moving us backwards. And we told people we were going to find a way to get this done, and with this vote this evening, the Republicans delivered. The Senate passed the measure on a 1914 party line vote. <laughs> Lawmakers took roll in the midst of a loud outburst from the gallery. Protester numbers gained strength as the day wore on, causing what one lawmaker called a security threat. Some legislators were escorted out after the vote. I mean, as we saw it today, there was constant disruption of the chamber. Democrats presented eight amendments fighting a budget they call an assault on families and the vulnerable. It's truly about the working class and what we've done to them is an attempt to eliminate the middle class. Republicans say the decision is about living within financial means. Most importantly, going forward, we have no structural deficit, which is something I've been crusading against now for 12 years. Lawmakers say this has been a long and highly contested road to reach this point, but the two-year budget is now a done deal, needing only the governor's signature. In Madison, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Governor Walker says he will sign the budget within days. The current budget runs out at the end of the month.